Hey guys, Tomo here again, and this is Tomo's Tech. Today, I'm going to talk you through a video editing PC build that will only set you back just short of £220. The build is intended to be used solely as a video editing PC. It is powerful enough to edit 4K video, providing you're not trying to edit some huge Hollywood blockbuster crammed with CGI and graphics. The build is ideal for YouTube content creators who want to be able to edit video on the fly without any huge initial investment. The beauty of this build is that it can be upgraded further over time with additional RAM, storage, processor and more. I've sourced the build and components from eBuyer which is a UK based online component seller. I've not received any payment to use eBuyer to recommend this build, I just like them and they're very price competitive and they offer free delivery if you don't mind waiting a few days for your kit to arrive. Okay, so we're going to start with the case. The case I've selected here is the CIT1019 black and silver MIDI case with a 500 watt power supply. This is literally the cheapest case e by sell with the power supply included. It's quite large for what we're going to be putting inside of it, but there's lots of space if you need to add any additional storage, high end graphics cards, etc. It'll also take a standard ATX power supply, so we can easily swap it out in the future if we need more juice to drive our video editing capability. This case is just £20.49. pence. Next up is the motherboard. I've opted for the Gigabyte GA F2A 68HM-HD2 micro ATX motherboard. This motherboard's got two DDR slots supporting up to 64 gigabytes of RAM with the top clock speed of 2400. This motherboard gives us plenty of room to play with when it comes to encoding video at speed. This motherboard also supports 4K output over HDMI, which is perfect for a dual monitor setup with a full 4K video preview available on one of the monitors. The motherboard also has a PCI Express x 16 slot which conforms to the 3.0 standard. There is support for SATA3 from the four onboard connectors and RAID 0, 1 and 10 are also supported out of the box. This will become relevant when I talk about the storage we're going to use. There's a large array of USB connectivity with two USB 3 ports, four USB 2 ports on the rear panel plus we can enable two USB ports on the front panel of the case using the onboard header. The motherboard costs just £34.98, which is a great price given all the features it supports. Ok, let's talk CPU. Intel fanboys are not going to appreciate this. We're going for the AMD A8 7600. This processor provides great value for money and the onboard Radeon R7 graphics mean we don't have to spend anything on a separate graphics card, but we do have sufficient GPU to render our on-screen preview whilst editing. Quad core CPU comes in at a mighty 3.1 GHz per core, with it pushing to a monstrous 3.8 GHz per core in turbo mode. The onboard GPU clock speed of 720 MHz will also give us a small amount of extra rendering power if the editing software used enables us to do so. This is the main component we need to consider when looking at editing video, as the CPU is going to be rendering the output, which is what takes the most time. The CPU is just £68.97. Ok, we're almost there, so I'll move on to RAM. When editing video, you should think of RAM as a kind of buffer. The CPU generates the output and pushes it to the RAM. The RAM is then written to the storage. The more RAM you have, the better. For our budget solution, I've opted for 8GB of crucial RAM. The full product name is CT1024. 64BA160B. This RAM has a speed of 1600 MTS. It's cheap and it's perfect for our budget editing build. The stick of Crucial is just £25.49. Finally, we'll take a look at storage. Fast storage is key to any video editing build. Using slow storage can bottleneck the whole rendering process. For this reason, I've opted for two. 120GB Integral P-Series 4 SSDs. Now you're probably wondering why I don't just buy one 240GB SSD and save some money. Well, allow me to explain. 
The drive has a write speed of 420 MBS. We can set the two drives up in a RAID 0 array, giving us one drive of 240 gigabytes, but with a theoretical write speed of 840 MBS. Getting the data written quickly will prevent any bottlenecking of the process, and it will ensure we're getting the most out of all the components. 240 gigabytes doesn't sound like a lot of space to play with, but if you remember, this build is ideal for YouTube content creators, who often simply dispose of their content once it's live on the site. You could add some cheap storage to the build, or buy an external hard drive to store your backups, but that's going to add to the total cost. The integral SSDs are £34.98 each, totaling £69.96 for the pair. So, the build comes in just shy of £220. I'll be interested to hear your comments on this one guys. Do you think you can do better for the same price? Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll put links in the description below to buy all the components. Thank you.